The University of Tampa women's basketball. We're getting close to the Christmas season, so welcome everybody. School is out. The finals are over. Graduation was actually this morning. And by the way, congrats to Malia Sullivan for graduating this morning. Yep, congratulations to Malia. The Spartans getting ready to take on the Clayton State University Lakers. And the starting lineups for today's game. Clayton State from Morrow, Georgia, members of the Peach Belt Conference, coming in with a 4-4 four and four record. They will be starting number three, Jada Francois Lubin, a senior from Miami, Florida. Number 11 is Jada Waite. She is a sophomore from Brooklyn, New York. Number 24, Layla Davis. Davis is a sophomore from Saginaw, Texas. Number one is Audrey McElhaney. And she is a preseason all-conference pick, a senior from Tifton, Georgia. And number 23 is Tania Patrick. Patrick is a senior from Baltimore, Maryland. The head coach, Kalina Coleman, and she has been the head coach here since 2014. Associate head coach, Brittany Hall. Assistant coaches are Jade Hayes and Jelani McCaskey. For the Tampa Spartans, welcome back, Tom Jesse. Tom's been out for a number of games with some personal situation, but he is back, and we welcome Coach Jesse back. Starting lineups for the Spartans. Number one is Maya Gusto, a junior from Naples, Florida. Number five is Audrey Ramsey. She is a junior from Boca Raton, Florida. Number 15, Sarah Jones, a junior transfer here from Mason, Ohio, by way of Embry-Riddle University. Number 24, our aforementioned graduate, Malia Sullivan. And Malia is a senior from Bartow, Florida. And in the middle, number two, Sydney Kinn, only shooting about 65% from the floor this year. She is a grad transfer from Cary, Ohio, and a transfer from the University of Findlay. Spartans in the white, Kinn to jump up. And we're underway here in Tampa, and controlling the ball is Layla Davis. Yeah, Sydney Ken is um, last publication I saw. She was leading the nation in field goal percentage. She was. Pro I wonder she. I wonder how she rates with the men. She's probably leading the nation, wow. male or female. <laughs> Ramsey, good box out, gets the rebound. Tom Jesse says, watch for Clayton State to press up and down the floor. They'll switch players like they know that. So foul bumping in is number one, and that is McElhaney. But he said they'll, they'll change lines like hockey, going 12 deep and just rotating people in and out, pressing up and down. And he said our concern, we just have to have the ball handlers and stay out of foul trouble with our point guards. Kin back out to Ramsey. Ramsey bounce pass back into post. Jumper fouled on the way up. Foul is on Patrick. Not to mention Kin is also a very good free throw shooter. <laughs> you don't get a break with her. Kin averaging 18 and a half points a game so far this season has started all eight games averaging 28 minutes a game hits the first free throw a 79.7 percent free throw shooter and actually 60 percent from the three-point line <laughs> oh it's only four out of six hits them both Spartans up first quarter of action Jack Ike along with Two-time Hall of Famer to Carlo DeVoe bringing you the action today. And we've got a busy weekend ahead of us, too. Men's game tomorrow night. Men's and women's game on Saturday. There's a travel. And another men, uh, women's game on Monday. At 2 p.m. And there's actually, there's a men's game tomorrow at 7, but it's part of the holiday tournament. So there's a game before Tampa plays at 5 o'clock. Right. And then Tampa will play one of those two teams on Sunday. Sunday there are four games because the men and women both hosting holiday tournaments. Right. Yeah. So we're going to be here for a while. Yeah, full weekend. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it's not bad. There was basketball and it's not Christmas shopping. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gave my wife my debit card and said, take care of those. <laughs> Ken with four. And right on cue, Ken with another basket. Already a substitution of a couple players and a basket. Fantastic. 
And there's that full court press to Gusto. Hustling to get it over the line. She does by one second. Find Sarah Jones. Jump shot, good. Sarah Jones knocks it down. Spartans up 6-2 within the first two minutes of the game. Long jumper on the way. Cleared. Shot missed by Raven Riley in the lineup. Inside, Malia Sullivan runs out of room, loses the ball. Dashing to the other end is Diamond Swift. Lays it up and in. Got to be careful on the turnovers because Clayton State looks like they like to get out and run. It's probably why they like to press so they could create turnovers that leads to easy baskets. They've already subbed four players. At this point, only McElhinney. Doing that they did. one year and then they, they lost to UCLA going for the repeat. They beat Duke. I yes. Think. Beat him bad, if I remember right. No, Scotty Thurman had a game winner. And then, uh, and then they beat him bad one year. Yeah. Sarah Jones, little 10-footer. Off the rim, no good. Hustling the ball up court. Spartans drop back. Yeah, after a two-year hiatus, you know, Sarah's still finding um, – you know, finding a rhythm kind of like Clay Thompson last season. Yeah. As, as far as, you know, basketball rhythm, that is. She looks in shape, way better shape than me. The <laughs> basketball shape is different, as you know. <laughs> uh, you got the bad wheel right now, too, though. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it was also a bad idea for me to try to play. <laughs> <laughs> in, a, in a weekend tournament. <laughs> And I think they got Malia Sullivan for dropping her shoulder Whoa. on the drive. It is. First foul on Tampa. Clayton stayed across the timeline. And a three-pointer from outside. And Clayton State has taken the lead. There's the press. Gusto across the timeline. Finds Ramsey who tracks it down. And you can see right behind Ramsey, five players getting ready to check yep. in for Clayton State. Inside to Kin. They double team her quickly. She goes up and just knocked out of bounds. Spartans have yet to sub. Clayton State subbing for the th third time. We got, a, we got a football score here, Jack, 7-6. Seven, six. Six. They missed the extra pointer with right. the two field goals. <laughs> oh, from deep. Gusto. Yeah, she's been playing very well. You can see an improvement in her game and her on-court leadership from last season. Ken just bowled over. That was by... Jada Mays, Moss, I should say. And it's 9-9. Sullivan outside. It's Jones, deep three. Nothing but net. There's that rhythm. I'm assuming in, in anticipation of the full court pressure, Tom Jesse with three guards. And they and Tamp UT is dropping back in what looks like a two-three zone. Because Clayton State wants to get up and you know get up and down and run and, and penetrate. So this this makes them have to take more time, be more methodical, and use the shot clock. Spartans have played eight games. They are unbeaten at this point. Pass deflected out of bounds. Tampa's ball. And this is the under five timeout. So with 426 to go in the first quarter. It is 12-9 Tampa. We'll be right back. Is this the 
you we always University of Tampa. Explore your dreams, discover your talents, get ready to invent, innovate, and be a leader. This is the University of Tampa. Some, some reason. Teams coming back out onto the court. It'll be Tampa ball to the right of the basket. Ramsey looking, finds Gusto. Shot clock down to eight, though. All right, make sure they're aware of it. Sarah Jones to Ramsey. Shot clock to three. Ramsey puts it up and hits. She made a nice jab step move to create space to get that shot off. Spartans with a six-point lead. I tell you this, male or female, if you're watching, you don't have to dribble five times before you set your man up. You, 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 can, you can jab step. <laughs> Without even dribbling, you can get yourself room. Sullivan, back out. Gusto, she's for three. In and out. Kin oh. tips, controls, off the glass and in. Nice rebound. No Nice shot by Gusto. I just would like for her to hold her follow through a, uh, just a split second longer. Tampa now up. Long three. Eight. Good. Make that five. Ayana Slaughter. Ramsey finds Jones. Harassed in the backcourt. Gets it over the timeline to the top of the key. Now the Spartans will run offense. Five-point lead, Tampa. 3.05 to go first quarter. Sullivan looks inside. Cross dribble, free throw line jumper, good. That low, that low arcing, but always on line jump shot. Maybe 10 and a half feet high, maybe 11. <laughs> Enough to clear the rim. Spartans are playing zone. You were right. It looks like a 2-3. Right. It really slows the Clayton State attack. But it looks like they can shoot the ball yeah. pretty well. That's their second three. Backcourt pressure again. Gusto. Going to break the press. And she charged. And she's down. Maya Gusto hit the floor hard and is slow to get up. Yeah, that's the thing with the press. You, I mean, she made the right play, but you have to come to a jump stop on that pass so that you don't run over the defender. That's what pressing does. It, it, it makes you make uncharacteristic mistakes. Spartans are making a couple substitutions now. Eleanor Marcheski coming in, a senior from St. Julie, Quebec, Canada. Transfer from James Madison University. And Alani Gallagher, a grad student from New York by way of St. Leo University. Couple, two players on the court now, Gallagher and Jones for Tampa, transferring in from conference schools. Long jumper, no good, box out. Jones went to the floor. And the foul is called on Raven Riley. Fourth team foul with less than two minutes to go in the quarter. Women's basketball, five team fouls per quarter gets you in the double bonus. And then it resets with the start of each quarter.
Shot clock at three. Gusto, oh, she threw it from off balance. Just inside the three-point arc and hit it. 21-15 Tampa. And a three coming right back at you. Right back at you. That was by Davis. Her first point of the day. Yeah, we have a game today, Jack. Gusto, trap, finds Ramsey, gets across the timeline. Pass intercepted, though. He was looking for Marcheski. Outside, a long three. Back-to-back -back threes, and we're tied. Tom Jesse quick to call a timeout as Davis with back-to-back -back threes. Timeout, 21 all, 43 seconds to go in the quarter. We'll step out, too. Which view is it? Number 32, Kyle Hornsby. NCAA and its member schools offer nearly half a million college athletes a path to go pro in something other than sports. Learn more at NCAA.org slash opportunity. Forty three point seven seconds to go. Couple threes have tied this game at twenty one. Gusto. Get it over the timeline. Across the timeline, three seconds to spare. Finds Gallagher, or a Jones, outside to Marcheski. And they just avoid her. Bounce pass into Gallagher, and she lays it in. Good play. Way to be patient. Just got to take your time against the press. 20 seconds in the quarter. The shot clock dark. There's Davis, who had a couple threes. Kicking it out. Another three on the way, and they are just on fire the last couple of minutes. Five seconds to go in a quarter. I think they're just going to run it out. One second, Gusto sees the clock run out, and at the end of 10 minutes, we've got a shootout going on here in Tampa. Clayton State, the Lakers 24, the Tampa Spartans 23. We'll be right back. You know, the, can you get mine on that same? instilled resilience, focus, and selflessness in us. We've put those lessons to work. We've found strength and unity in each other. You continue to take us places we never imagined. You bring out the best in us. So when we look forward, we see the light at the end of the tunnel. We see a better world for all of us. And, and for college sports. sports. It was almost like it was having some like <laughs> is an initiative at all 25 national championships because student athletes want to give back while competing for a national title. Over the course of the year, Division II student athletes have an opportunity to leave a lasting impression in local communities throughout the country. Whether Division II student athletes are volunteering at hospitals, schools, after school care programs, foster homes, or retirement villages, they make a difference in the lives of others. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. Getting ready to start the second quarter. Clayton State with a huge push in the final minute and a half to take a 24-23 lead. Teams are on fire right now. Tampa is 9 of 12, 75%. It'll drop a little bit there. Clayton State is 9 of 16, 56%. Free throw line extended, missed. Rebound Gallagher, quickly out to Ramsey. She finds Marcheski, cuts in the lane, and on the one. way up, and is fouled. She'll shoot two. Nice crossover move to free, free herself up to go strong right. I'll tell you this. This is, this is a fine brand of basketball yeah. between both these teams. I mean, it's, it's been a pleasure to watch. I mean, good shots, making shots. Clayton State player 
Looks like I was going to say she went down, lens. but I think it's a contact. Yeah, a contact lens. I've had that problem. You're not going to find it. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I've never seen someone find a contact. Not the soft lenses that they have nowadays. I had the hard lenses, the gas permeable. I've, I've had several contacts actually crack and break in my eyes. Oh. That's why you got you got to bring an extra pair with you on the road, <laughs> yeah. or 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 at home anywhere you're you're playing. I do when we travel. Always bring a set. Yeah. Second set. Clayton State six of twelve on three pointers. Tampa shooting sixty percent, but three of five. Marcheski knocks down the bucket. Yeah, Tampa has been a bit more selective with their three point shooting. But they're hitting them. It seems like they should shoot a few more. Marcheski, one of two. 24 all. <laughs> Early second quarter. Pass inside. And rebounded by Tampa. Gusto quickly up court. Gusto's the kind of player who probably loves this tempo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she does. Because it allows her to do a lot of what she does, which is be a wizard with the ball and, and a spark plug of energy. Ramsey finds Kin inside the arc. No good. Marcheski tracks it down, bounced it off yep. a Clayton State player, and it'll be Tampa ball. Good hustle, Eleanor Marcheski, preserving the, the ball for the UT Spartans. Quickly inside, Kin looking. Reverse layup and in. Wow. She posted up quickly on the inbounds play, got the pass. Spartans by two. Jump shot by Davis, but beforehand, there's a foul called. What, what, what a model of efficiency is Sidney Kin. Scores at the other end, draws a foul at this end. I can see that what, what the Clayton State player just did as being a, a tactic against Kin, trying to be overly physical with her, but. She, she's not, she doesn't appear to be weak no. at, at all. She's slender. She's, I, I call it wiry strong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gusto, nice little fake, back out. Marcheski steps in, drives off the glass. And, and one. And a foul. <laughs> you know, yep. we've seen a couple nice moves from Eleanor today that I don't think we've seen this year. Did a nice little crossover dribble last time down. And a little stutter step this time. Yeah, she had cap off this three-point play with the free throws. In. And Malia Sullivan in for Marcheski. The way it seems to be against this Clayton State team, you can't, you can't, miss uh, on too many of your opportunities with them because they seem as if they, they push the ball up and they score. Davis looking, has to give it up and comes back out to Watt. Wait, I should say. She's looking for a spot at the free throw line. Back out, three on the way. Air ball, and that'll go down as an assist. No, <laughs> luckily think. she stepped on the, on the... Oh, she stepped out of bounds? Wow, luckily, because yeah. that was Johnny on the spot. So it will be an air ball. I had an assist like that once. <laughs> <laughs> meant it. Totally meant it. Not only is Clayton State pressing, but they're, they're picking up. And add one for Malia. You're, they're, they're picking up tightly all over the court, which, which leads to, if, if the players aren't in help position, it leads to good penetration and shots. Just like Malia Sullivan with that tight defense. You got to make them pay because if you let the pressure get to you and you fumble the ball, then you're playing right into their hands. Spartans by seven. This is their biggest lead. Make it eight. They were up six at one point, and then Clayton State came down and hit back-to-back -back threes. That tied it up, but they've now, that match, matter of fact, tied it at 24. Spartans are on an 8-0 run right now. Pass inside, and looks like Gallagher will get called for the foul. 
Malia Sullivan has to be careful no, with Sullivan. those those type of touch fouls. I, I call them non-productive fouls because with her her leadership on this on on um on this team, she's much better suited to be on the court than on the bench. So it was called on her. That one, kind of an air ball. It hit glass <laughs> on the way past the rim. Call it a glass ball. <laughs> <laughs> Gusto. Kicks it out. Marcheski back in the lineup, and she stepped on the out-of-bounds line, the sideline, right in front of Clayton State when she was rearing ahead for the basket. So both teams with some out-of-bounds violations, and it's still an eight-point lead with 7.05 to go until halftime. Francois Lubin with a three. Everyone on Clayton State seems to have the green light once they're in their, <laughs> yeah, in their positions. Definitely. Marcheski back out. Gallagher, ball fake. Gusto inside to Kinn. They're looking to double team her right. if possible. Back out to Gallagher. Five on the shot clock. She drives off the glass. Fouled. Nice strong take. She thought about kicking it out to Gusto behind the three-point line, but with such little time left, she's like, let me just take it in strongly, and she drew the foul. That's the fifth already, so even though she was shooting, from now on, all two-shot fouls for Tampa. And, and that, 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 that's a sign of two things. UT is being aggressive offensively, and Clayton State is, um, they're, they're out of position on defense. Hits them both. Spartans are seven of eight from the free throw line so far today. And the lead is eight. Outside the arc, three on the way. Off the glass backboard again. So three that didn't hit rim in the last couple minutes for Clayton State. UT with the with the with the score they can actually go up double digits. Yep. Marcheski, top of the key, has oh. it stolen. Picked her pocket. And Francois Lubin lays it in. That's what the, that's what the pressure does. So instead of going up by ten, it's six. Almost a four point swing. You got to be very careful because this Clayton State, they play a in-your-face style of defense. Inside to Kin, They looked at double. Kick nice it out. kick out. Marcheski, three on the way. Short. Kin up. Fouled. Kin is a workhorse. <laughs> She's a workhorse. It's not, it's not only that she, she's not Johnny on the spot. No, she works to get herself in the position to get the offensive rebound, to get the defensive rebound. She's always moving. Her footwork is impeccable. Sarah Jones coming in, Marcheski out. Marcheski playing a lot of minutes. I think it looked like she might have been just a little bit tired on that three. Kin hits the shot. Spartans now eight of nine from the free throw line. Nine of 10 from the free throw line and Kin with 10 points. And it might be a shot clock. It's only at 29, and it should be more than that. See if they pop it down a couple seconds. Yeah, with those two free throws, Ken is the first player in, in double digits at 10. She leads all scores. They just bumped it down two seconds. Little weave, free throw line jumper off the glass and the board, no good. Rebound back out, kick it out for a three, ball fake and a travel. <laughs> Traveling call on May and 
This should be the under five timeout. It is. Five, 455 to go until half. 36-28 Tampa. You're watching on TampaSpartans.tv. Being a champion takes more than skill, more than endless drills, more than using your head. Being a champion takes the heart to give it your all, the agility to thrive from any angle, and the relentless drive to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create, and the question isn't, can you do it? It's will you. Spartans to inbound, Ramsey gets it, again, full court pressure. Gusto across the timeline, finds Ramsey. With this type of defensive pressure, I see Clayton State probably getting some, some five second calls. Yeah. Ken with the assist to Gallagher. They left her open, the lead is 10, biggest lead of the game. First double-digit lead for UT. Nice little jump shot. And May knocked it down. UT has sort of settled down now. They're handling the Clayton State press very well right now. And I'll tell you this, for, for all of the aggression Can't Clayton travel. State shows defensively, they haven't shot not one free throw as of yet. No. So it's a, it's a credit to UT's defense for not fouling, but also Clayton State may, may think about a little more penetration and get into the free throw line. A couple new substitutions. One thing Coach Coleman has stopped doing, for now anyway, she was changing lines, five in, five out. Now she's doing it on an as-needed basis. The, 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 the gift of that is you have great depth. The curse is that <laughs> your players may not get into a good rhythm. Again, a stepping on the out-of-bounds line, the sideline, turns the ball over to Tampa. With the score, UT can go back up double digits. It's only the fifth turnover by Clayton State. Tampa with seven. Clayton State, 12 points off those seven turnovers. Ramsey looks at a three on the way. Good. Rattles at home. Yeah, two. She's They're saying the it's ball. a two, 40 to 30. She's shooting the ball very well this season. She's just she's just playing well all you know in every facet of the game. Under the basket, Clayton State inbounding. Ball into Burt's hand outside the arc. Kicks it back out. Long three off the rim. Fighting for it as Kin pulls it down. That's rebound six for Kin. And Gusto is off to the races. Nice bounce pass. Oh, and she saw Jones on the weak side. Hit her for the bucket. Jones has seven. The lead is 12. She, Maya Gusto saw that the whole way. She just was trying to break free so she could set it up. Great unselfish play and, and great pass. Her second assist of the game. And I think they're going to get Gallagher with the foul. First two free throws for Clayton State. I think they heard me. <laughs> Only the second foul on Tampa this quarter. But they'll shoot because it was a shooting foul. Aaron Antosh into the game for the Spartans. Antosh for Kin. 
See, now now this game is more of the UT Spartans pace. And whoever is – some teams can play a lot of different styles, but, however, if you're, if you're able to play your style of basketball, you normally come out the victor. Careful. <laughs> Gusto finds Antosh, smartly backs it out. Two and a half to go until halftime. Double team, Ramsey caught in a the pickle there. And jump ball will give the ball to Clayton State. That, that's one thing. Usually off the pick and rolls, Clayton State's MO has been to trap. And she spun right, she reversed into it. right yeah. into the trap. Lead is 11. Looks at a three, backs out. No, fires it anyway. Back rim, gets her own rebound. And Davis up, misses it, gets her own rebound, misses. Finally, Antosh rips it down. And I think there's a foul called. I think two free throws coming for Antosh. Yep. <laughs> Reward for her hard work. Foul is on Burtz. Spartan still shooting a lofty 71%. Antosh missing that. 71% from the floor, not yeah, the line. I, I think Sidney King has made it contagious, <laughs> <laughs> which is a good thing. Antosh, 0 for 2 at that time, stays an 11-point game. Very uncharacteristic of her to miss two free throws. Riley, back of the rim, no good. Gallagher rebounds. Gusto turns away from the double. Finds Ramsey. Long pass to Jones. Ten on the shot clock. Jones to Antosh. Looking for a cutter, now goes baseline. Four on the shot clock, tipped away, and they turned it over. Quickly out to Davis, lays it up off the glass, but got fouled. Antosh is, she's having a, a little mini struggle right now. I think maybe Sidney Ken is coming in for her. Ken and Marcheski quickly back into the lineup for Gallagher and Gusto. Okay, so UT goes big. Aaron Antosh stays in. Bigger front line should help on the defensive board. Yep. Couple of free throws. Down to a nine-point game, and here's the full-court press. I'll tell you this. Two nice-looking free throws by Layla Davis. Very great rotation, no, nothing but net. Marcheski, bounce pass, Antosh inside, Kin. She backs it out. Ramsey quickly around. Under a minute to go in the half. I guess with Antosh on the floor, Kin moves to the <laughs> to the stretch four. Antosh, Ramsey, four on the shot clock. Inside to Antosh, turnaround jumper, bounces off the rim. That's before the shot clock, but there's a block and it goes out of bounds. It'll be Clayton State ball with 34 seconds. I think in hearing the horn go off, Marcheski was in a rush to shoot the ball. I think she was a bit fooled. Didn't realize that they'd gotten the rebound. Yeah, and got a full uh, possession. Got a 20 again. Three seconds between shot and game. 25 seconds on the game clock. Riley, free throw line. She's open, pops, hits. Riley's got eight. The lead down to seven. Ten seconds to go till half. Six seconds. Four. I don't know if Double she knows. Team. 
fires it up at the end and didn't get a good look at the end. Tom Jesse talking to Audrey Ramsey about being aware of the shot clock. We've reached halftime. 42-35, Tampa leads the Clayton State Lakers. We'll step out and come back a little bit before the start of the second half. We'll catch you up on the stats. You're watching on TampaSpartans.tv. Plant Hall even got new carpet and new windows. UT now has more than 3,000 events annually and 200 clubs and student organizations. We have won 13 NCAA Division II championships, and since 2000, Spartan teams have won 35 Sunshine State Conference titles. As a member of the University of Tampa Spartan family, you are a guiding force behind UT's remarkable success. We are alums, students, parents, and friends, and together we are changing lives. We are individuals, yet the greater whole is only complete when we work together. You have helped make UT a vibrant community with growing resources and a superior reputation. Just like in the beginning when professors worked without pay, the spirit of giving at UT remains strong. Last year, nearly $14 million was donated to the university by thousands of generous supporters. When we strengthen education, we strengthen our job force and our nation as a whole. Donations support academics, campus life, and a student's ability to afford an education. Your participation is what matters most and shows that our Spartan family believes in the future of UT. Whatever level of support, your gift is important to us and enables UT to provide the challenging, high-quality education that has defined our university. Thank you for helping UT achieve such great success.
compete on the cross country team. <laughs> Just about ready to start the second half. Tampa women's basketball as the Spartans lead the Clayton State Lakers 42-35 at halftime. Jack Ike along with two-time Hall of Famer to Carlo DeVoe. Let's run you through some stats from the first half. McElhaney did not score. She's one of their top scorers. They have three averaging in double digits. She did not score. Francois Lubin with four. Davis with eight. Riley with eight. Those are your top two scores. Swift has two, May with five, Wright has three, and Johnson has two. As a team, they ended up the half 13 of 32. They were at one point 56%. They're down to 40 now. Six of 17 from the three-point line, three of four from the free throw line, 10 rebounds, eight assists at this point in the game. On the other side for Tampa. Maya Gusta with five, Sydney Kin with ten, only player on both sides in double digits. She's three of five from the floor, four of four from the free throw line with six rebounds. Ramsey, Audrey Ramsey with five, Sarah Jones seven, Malia Sullivan five, Alani Gallagher with six, Elena, Eleanor Marcheski with four. Second half underway, Tampa with the ball. Tampa shot 65%. Does it go up or down? will drop a little, 65% in the first half on 15 of 23. They were three of six from deep and nine of 12 from the free throw line. Tampa trailed at, ha at the quarter, 24-23, but owns a seven point lead. Now had a, an 11 point lead, 42-31. Inside, layup in, nice move by Davis, and she reaches double digits with 10. And they immediately put the full court pressure on Tampa. Tampa did turn the ball over nine times in the first half to just four for Clayton State. Kin loses the ball with a foul called on the entry pass. One thing that helped the Spartan, nine points from the free throw line. Clayton State, three points from the line. Clayton State with three more three-pointers. Well, there's this shot with 17 threes thus far, Clayton State has. Inside to Kin, and I think they got Kin with the push off. That will be her second. Clayton State, no pressure on them. They bring it across the timeline. Long three, first of the half, bounces out. Long rebound, well beyond the free throw line, drive, and a reach over Ramsey. Do they call the foul I think they call on it Ramsey? On Gusto. Um, oh. No, it's right. It is Ramsey. That's her first. Non-shooting, second of the quarter already on Tampa. Looked like the Clayton State player reached over her back, but nevertheless. Wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> nice drive and a bucket. Wait with the bucket. Lead down to three. Clayton State with four quick points this half. And an 8-0 run at this point. Sarah Jones returns the favor. She's got nine. Second on the Spartans in scoring. Kin with 10. Yeah, quietly she's had a had a, a nice game so far. Well, she's four of five from the floor and missed her first shot. So four in a row since. Including a three. Kin with the rebound. Her seventh of the game. Long pass, ill-advised, bounces out of bounds. Gusto sort of telegraphed that one, and she threw it into double coverage, so yep. she was lucky that it wasn't stolen. 
at halftime. I was down talking to Aaliyah Abney, a star for the Spartans from last year was her final year here. And she said she's just waiting on a passport and she's planning to play professionally in Australia or Spain. You had heard Australia as well. Yeah, so wh wh wherever she's fortunate enough to get a contract, I'm, I'm sure they'll be well pleased with her yeah. with her play. Just she's have to make sure that, you know, you're in adequate shape and um, and the basketball talent will take flight. There's a tech on. Technical on the Spartans, I think. I don't know who it, who it was called Let's on. see what the box score says. They hit them both. 44-41 now. And Clayton State with the ball. Davis looks to drive, comes back out, gives up the dribble. In the lane, passed off, layup, no good, but a foul called. It might be another one on Ramsey. It is. That's two on her, and now four on Tampa in two minutes and 40 seconds of the quarter. Yeah, even though they're down three points, Clayton State seems to have the momentum right now. The technical was on Malia Sullivan. Lead down to two. <clears throat> Biggest lead was actually 42-30 for Tampa. Watch your back. Cross the timeline. Spartans had a 12-point lead with three minutes to go in the before half, Sarah Jones. Almost from the identical spot she hit her last shot. Yeah, she's comfortable there, and she has 11. I was thinking she was more of a three-point shooter, but she's she's a shooter, period. Yeah. just Her last two shots were mid-range shots. Drive, tipped by Kin, rebound though, inside to Moss, blocked by Kin, gets the rebound. Good block. Ramsey across the timeline into a double team. Tries to get out of it and is fouled. She was bumped. Yep. Luckily, because she was about to pick up a dribble at half court, exactly what the defense wanted her to do. Now, when you're playing that many players, is it worth the risk every so often of getting a foul because you've got so many players? That's, that's, that's one of the philosophies, you know, like no one player really gets in foul trouble because you're rotating so many. And then right there was a gamble. Another and turnover by Tampa. Oh, luckily Clayton State they, didn't penalize them more with the basket. Yeah, they haven't converted this half. But Tampa up to 12 turnovers, three already this half. Got to just settle down, take your time. And deflected pass. Another, Another turnover. turnover. So it seems like the third quarter is playing out like the first quarter where the Spartans just have to kind of get a feel for this game. Right. They got it in the second quarter and went on a big scoring run. Seems like it's the, it's the odd number quarters. <laughs> Bucket there, cuts it to one. And wholesale substitution, you may see in the background, five players getting ready to come in. Same pattern Coach Coleman had to start the game. What, the, what this pressure and this trap does is, wow. <laughs> Sarah Jones is feeling it. 14 now on six of seven shooting. Two of two from deep. She's not a game's leading scorer. Yeah. But this, that, that pressure, it makes you use time on the, on the shot clock. And, and then you have about 15 seconds to get into your set. Good drive and a foul on Marcheski. And a chance to pull within a point. With an attempt at three the old-fashioned way. 
And at 4.53, this is the under five timeout. Automatic timeout. So we'll step out as well. 49-47, 4.53 to go third quarter. Free throws coming. Chance for a three-point play. And good. McElhaney, her first bucket of the game, or first scoring of the game, she came in at 12, 11, or 10.8 a game. Top scorer on the team. Again, full court pressure. Gusto across. And another turnover. Tom Jesse saying settle it down. Kin would have caught it. Sarah Jones, not a chance. The turnover so now, is really hurting Tampa right now. Now a anything. chance for the lead. Turnover is now 14 for Tampa. That's five this half. And a layup gives Clayton State the lead. The four and four Tigers have taken a lead on the eight and no Spartans. And Tom Jesse, seen enough for now, takes a timeout at 50. 49, 421 to go in the third quarter. We'll step out for a quick timeout as well. Be right back. Men's basketball tomorrow will have that at 7 o'clock when North Georgia will come here. It's the part of the Tampa Classic, a two-day four-team tournament. On Sunday, the Spartans will play Flagler at 7 o'clock. The Spartan women will play the first game of their holiday tournament on Sunday at 3 o'clock. And we'll have both those games for you. Right now, though, the Spartans trail. And Gallagher gets it over the timeline to Kim for a layup. Sydney Kim wide open. And they saw her. And Spartans back in the lead by one. Psychologically, it was important for UT to come right back and take the lead. Driving the lane, kicking it back out. And quickly around, they'll try to drive again. Back out. Jumper inside the free throw line, good. Riley knocking it down. Riley now has 10. Quickly up court. Gallagher can't reach it out of bounds. Turnover 15 for Tampa. Tell you this, UT better settle down because they're throwing the ball around like a hot potato right now. And, and it's, it's only benefiting one team, and that's Clayton State. Clayton State has 22 points off turnovers right now. Fifteen on the shot clock. Outside is Burtz. Back outside to Riley. Right. UT back in their zone. Almost a steal by Ramsey. 
player down. At McElhaney goes, or Swift, I should say, goes down. Tampa already at five team fouls. So that will put Clayton State on the line shooting two. Foul was called on Marcheski. And at the Take line. Take that back, it's on Gusto. Or, nope. Okay, they put up a five. That's on Ramsey, her third. And at the line for Clayton State. Get, get a load of this name. Love the name. Diamond Swift. Yes. Who makes her <laughs> first free throw. Well, well, well thought out and planned name by her parents, whoever, <laughs> whoever picked it, whether it be your mom or dad. Misses that one, Ken rebounds. Leah Sullivan getting ready for her first appearance of the half. She had two fouls, did not start the half. Gusto to the corner to Gallagher. Back up to Ramsey, eyes a three on the way. Good, Spartans back in the lead. Ramsey with eight now. Swift to the corner. Burtz off the rim, no good, into Ramsey's arms. That's where they can't set that press off the missed shot. So you gotta you gotta force them into one shot, get the rebound, and then get off to the races before they can set up. Gallagher lofts it into Kin, lays it up, left-handed in. Kin with 14, matching Jones for game high honors. Every time UT just takes their time, they, they, they get what they want. Outside the arc is Swift. Stay outside, trying to drive, cut off by Jones. Three on the shot clock. Jumper up from deep, bounces around. Kin with the rebound. She has a double-double. I'll tell you this, Sarah Jones has been mostly noted for our offense. However, if you watch her defensively, she's always up in the mix of things. She's always close to being, a, being um, the recipient of a steal because she plays the passing lane so well. Kin with the jumper, fouled from behind. And the foul will be on Riley. Three on her now. And three new players coming in for Coach Coleman's Lakers. Sarah Jones is what I call a sneaky defensive player. She's kind of playing D like uh, the Lakers, though. She's right up in your face. Yep. Kin bounces around, no good. Spartans were 9 of 10. They missed their last three. Ends that streak. 10 of 14. Time to start a new streak. And the lead is four with a minute 20 to go in the quarter. Outside, long three on the way. Airballed it. Goes out of bounds. It'll be Tampa ball. Yeah, U UT has lost the lead twice this quarter, but they've 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 been guess really really responsive in battling to get that lead right back. Tampa had a 42-35 halftime lead. Watch the double team find Sullivan. Drives the lane, free throw line back out to Ramsey. 10 now on the shot clock. Sullivan. Gusto. Five on the shot clock. Off the glass and in. Little runner by Maya. Yeah, that's a backbreaker type shot. Reverse layup. Doesn't go. Kin with the rebound. Her 11th. 11 boards, 15 points. That was a Sydney Kin type move. Shot clock is off, 15 in the quarter. Sullivan, free throw line extended. And foul called on the drive. Clock 
Falls on Jada Jones. That's her first foul. 10 on the clock for the quarter. Ramsey to inbound. Gusto up top. Ramsey in the corner. Nine on the shot clock. And foul called. That's the fifth of the quarter. We'll put Ramsey on the line for two. What a gift because she picked up her dribble and was looking like she was getting ready to try to attempt to turn around Just and jump shot. Just heave something up at the buzzer, yeah. Right. 6.8 seconds to go in the quarter. Aaron Antosh and Eleanor Marcheski coming in as they don't want Kin to pick up another foul. She has two, and Sullivan as well. She has two. Ramsey has three. She's at the line. Yeah, smart substitution. Just in case with seven seconds. Bounces around and in. Just get them out. You never so know Spartans, what will happen. Led by seven at half. Lost the lead. Now lead by seven. <laughs> right back to where we started. And a chance from. to go up by eight. Yes. Seven seconds across the half court line. Two seconds on the clock. Blocked by Gallagher. And we'll end the quarter with a 61-53, eight-point Tampa lead. A seesawing third quarter. Tampa leads by eight. We'll be right back. offer nearly half a million college athletes a path to go pro in something other than sports. Learn more at NCAA.org slash opportunity. Being a champion takes more than skill, more than endless drills, more than using your head. Being a champion takes the heart to give it your all, the agility to thrive from any angle, and the relentless drive to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create, and the question isn't, can you do it? It's, will you? Ten minutes of basketball to go. 61-53, both teams working their way up toward their scoring averages. Tampa averages 75 a game, 61 right now. Clayton State averages 68 a game. They may have a little more trouble getting to that mark, though 15 points away. Swift gives it outside. Finds Francois Lubin, shot no good. Gallagher with the rebound. She's got four. Ramsey has five, she's right behind Kinn, who has 11. Pass inside to Kinn. Turns around in the lane. Fouled on her way up on the double team. It'll be on Francois Lubin. That'll be just her first. Mentioning the Spartans game tomorrow against North Georgia. That's another Peach Belt Conference team, same as Clayton State is, but they're coming in with a 7-1 and one record tomorrow. Yeah, that's a tough game. Tell you this, I, I, whether it's male or female, I, I'll tell you this, you can, you can roll a, a video of Sidney Ken in the post and <laughs> you can show players about footwork. You, you can use her as the example. Malia her, Sullivan with a little distraction there gets the turnover for Tampa. And with a 10-point lead, Tampa will inbound. Knocked out of bounds. This is where Tampa has to really be careful because this last quarter, Clayton State down 10. You know they're going to come out blazing. They're going to gamble, so you have to really take your time and be precise with every dribble and every pass. Ramsey across the line. She has some options. Gallagher 
holds the ball. Tampa trailed 24-23 at the quarter, first quarter, then had a seven-point halftime lead. Sullivan with a layup, 12, and she's going to go to the line. <laughs> Sullivan on the drive. And that's seven for Malia. 12-point lead, make it 13. Biggest lead of the game for Tampa. Clayton State running a weave. Shot clock to 12. Three on the way. Good, rolls it around. Davis hitting that one and a quick timeout by Clayton State. We'll stay here. Last lead for Clayton State was 53-51. So Tampa was on a 15-0 run until that three went down. Wow. They had that lead with 313 to go in the quarter. So a 15-0 run in about five minutes. But that's, that, that's what you call home court advantage. We also know Clayton State can mount a furious comeback. Right now though, Tampa for the game, 71.9% from the floor. Wow. They are 23 of 32. Five of nine from three. We've mentioned this a few times this year. What, what's kept Clayton State in the game are the UT turnovers because Clayton State is shooting 38%. UT is shooting 72%. <laughs> On that token alone, yeah. you would think that UT would be up By like high double digits. Yep. Yeah. But the turnovers have given Clayton State 23 points. Tampa with the ball though. Kin brings it back out. Gusto directs traffic. Sullivan, Gallagher, Gusto, three. Off the rim, Kin with the rebound. Like I said, she's Johnny on the spot because she positions herself in the proper positions. They had her boxed out, but she was just taller. There's a foul. We'll put Kin at the line. No, I'm sorry. We reset at the quarter. The Clayton State player moved in under Kin as she was trying to catch the ball. Yes. Eight minutes to go in the game. Gusto harassed to Sullivan. Gusto. Ball fake. Ramsey, five on the shot clock, three. Fadeaway jumper off the backboard out of bounds. And it'll be possession to Clayton State. Good that defensive possession by Clayton State that time. Still need a lot more of those being down 10. Outside the arc, inside the lane, and turn around short. Kin tips it out to Gusto. She lost it. Back inside. Get on the floor. And jump ball called, Tampa ball. It's only the second held ball we've had this game. Right, the first one went to Clayton State, so the second one goes to us. And limping off the floor is Jessica May. Here comes the pressure. And she threw it away. Jumper, no good. Rebound, Clayton State. Drives in the lane and a foul called. Might be a shooting foul. 
No, it's on, it's on the pass. pass. I saw the Clayton State coach, Kalina Coleman. She was like, why didn't you shoot it as you okay. heard the whistle? All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's an easy way to get, get points. Clayton State rebounds again. Again missed. Clayton State fights for it and foul call on Tampa. Yeah, UT may have to get bigger as far as um, the defensive boards. That's the 12th, 11th or 12th offensive rebound for Clayton State in this game. So a couple key things there, offensive rebounds and turnovers helping Clayton State stay yep, close. stick around, yep. They've had about two or three possessions where they got two or three rebounds. So they've done it in bunches. And there's another one. Kin, I think she's called for the foul. Right. See, I mean, after so many offensive possessions, you're going to eventually get something good by the law of averages. Yeah. It'll be shooting foul. Free throw bounces around, no good. Stays a 10 point lead for Tampa. And drops that one. Lead cut to an odd number at nine. And a single digit number. Quickly up court, Gallagher smartly brings it out. Gusto, Gallagher. Gallagher getting a lot of playing time this game. Pass inside. Kin has to fight for it. Loses it. Clayton State the other way. Off the glass. Foul on Gusto. That will be her third. She joins Ramsey and Kin with three fouls now. And Sullivan has four, one because of the tech. Missed opportunity at the line there. Burtz for the second. Missed that one. But even off a missed free throw, they fell back into their trap position. Spartans beat it though. Six minutes to go in the game. Kin near the arc. Ramsey outside the arc. Gusto. Five now on the shot clock. Pass to Ramsey. Three. Fake. Lost the ball. Gallagher tries to get back. And wow. Gravity finally got that ball to fall. And it's a seven point game. 19 turn uh, 17 turnovers by the Spartans now. Yeah, this Clayton State team is scrappy. You gotta beat them. They're, they're not gonna give you, they're not gonna give you the game. You gotta you gotta beat them. They had it up to 13 just a few minutes ago. It's down to seven. Kin, and she scores, we'll go to the line. She's a machine, Jack. Kin, that is. Yep. With 8.49 to go in the quarter, the Spartans had a 13 point lead. It's nine right now, was down to seven. Kin back up to 10. She has 20. She's got a 20 12 game right now. Just great, great numbers. <laughs> well, you take Sarah Jones and Sydney Kin from the field today. They're 12 of 15. Wow. Both with six buckets. Five on the shot clock. Bounce in the lane. Off the rim, no good. Rebound. Clayton State bounces around. Comes back out. Rebound again. Clayton State miss. Tipped into the hands of Gallagher. Quickly up court to Ramsey. She's got a one on five, so she decides <laughs> to wait. <laughs> 
tell you this, that was a great outlet by Gallagher yeah. to find Audrey Ramsey ahead of everybody. Foul called on the drive by Sullivan. You know, we mentioned the offensive rebounds by Clayton State. They have 15, but wow. they only have five second chance points. Yeah, one of the Clayton State players got a nice rebound. I think it was Jada Moss, and she just she rushed the layup, and, um, and she missed it. Again, we mentioned they had two or three instances where they got three offensive rebounds and didn't score. Spartans by 10, 419 to go in the game. Alani Gallagher to shoot. She has six. Gets the bounce, won't go. Six points, five rebounds. That's her first miss from the line. Missed them both, though. Wow. Clayton State dodged a bullet right there, and, and with the way this team plays, 10 points is not safe enough. No. With four minutes to go. I mean, a few steals, a, a few threes. Next thing you know, you're only up four. There's that three, and yep. there you go. <laughs> wow. Right from deep. That was her third three-pointer attempt, second made. Lead seven. This is actually a big possession. you got to get it over the line. Don't turn it over. See if you can get a bucket. Gallagher does wow. do that. Gallagher with eight. Lead is nine. Nice touch on the baseline by Alani Gallagher. Big bucket. Huge. Three and a half left in the game. Is this going to be a heat check from three for Hannah Wright? <laughs> She's tr she was trying to get it off. Stolen good, by Gusto. Good defense by Gusto. She's got Gallagher. Stops. And fouled in the lane. I don't does she see Gallagher? I don't I don't think so. If Gusto sees you, you're usually gonna get it. Right. Nursing a nine-point lead with a chance to go up 11. Well, now 10. Martin's now free leaving throw some left. free throws on the line. Hits that one. There's 17 of 24 from the line. And the lead is 10 again. Three minutes to go in the game. Spartans are okay with this, letting him go deep in the shot clock. Yeah, Clayton State. Turn around off the glass, no good. Ramsey with the ball. I tell you, if they put a uh, pedometer on Coach Kalina Coleman, she might have about five miles in today. <laughs> she really goes up and down that sideline. <laughs> Gallagher, no good. Clayton State hustles back the other way. They put it up. Foul. Ramsey, her fourth. Spartans fifth. Shooting foul anyway. Will put Swift on the line. Wholesale substitution. Three in, three out. And Swift to the line. She's one of two from the line. Three points on the day. Make it four. Referees with a little conversation. Everything seems squared away. Swift for the second. 
Knocks them both down. Lead down to eight. 2.20 to go. Presses on. Ramsey. Sullivan in the backcourt. Sullivan gets the pass. She's just going to try to beat it herself. Looks for the double team. Loses the ball, but I think Swift fouled Ramsey. That'll put Ramsey on the line. Again, just a, another one of those passes that just got yeah, there. Yeah, that was almost in time. Uh, yeah. Ramsey, two of two from the line, three of three. Four of four. You know, we mentioned that Clayton State plays 12 or more players. They have 37 bench points today. Wow. But that's probably a typical number. Half their points. Sullivan with a nice rebound. And with less than two minutes, it's going to be tougher. Don't throw it to her. Uh, I guess that's okay. I guess that was legal. Yeah, it, it, lo <laughs> yeah, it looked very close to a backcourt. Time not the friend of Clayton State. Sullivan misses that one. And Sullivan fouls, and that will be her fifth. But does the T count as a personal foul? You almost don't want to foul in that. I mean, they may score, but you don't want them to get free throws and points with the clock stopped. Because yep. right now the clock is t UT's biggest enemy. So Sullivan does foul out. Eleanor Marcheski coming in. Her final numbers are eight points, three of four shooting. Two of two from the line, had a rebound and an assist. First free throw by Davis, good. Nine point difference, 134 left to play. Eight point difference. Press is on. Marcheski and Ramsey and a quick timeout. Clayton State will step out. 74 66, 134 to go. Tampa on top. In NCAA Division II, student athletes leave a lasting impression on their communities. That's because Division II student athletes want to make a difference and truly be part of their surrounding communities. Through community engagement, thousands of student athletes from various backgrounds interact with community members who view them as role models. This interaction leaves a positive and perhaps even life-changing impression on all those involved. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. So remember, Scott Lynn is going to be here Monday. Who? Scott Lynn. Who used to do the games with me? Oh, yeah, because you're not. I, I got to work. Yeah. Actually, it's our, we're having a Christmas party. Okay. <laughs> On company time. Gusto inbounds, and Kin finally, they sent everybody into the backcourt. There's Marcheski, breaks the timeline, double teamed, looking, finds Gallagher, hands it off to Gusto. Tampa one point below its average. Clayton State two points below its average. Ramsey. No good. Rebound, Kin. Gusto eyes the three, but says, hey, run some wow. clock. Less she, than a minute. If Kin is in the area, chances are she's going to get the ball. And, you know, even though that was a rebound she took over somebody, it's not a foul because she's so tall. Right. It just She just outreached him. Ramsey to the line. 
four of four from the line, 12 points. She reached double digits. No Spartans on the line. They're all huddling at the other end of the court. And Ramsey, that one won't fall. 45 seconds to go. Missed them both. Wow, uncharacteristic. 19 of 28 from the free throw line after being 9 of 10 to start the game. Long three. Riley knocks it down. And it's only a five-point difference right. with 32 seconds to go and a quick timeout by Coach Coleman. I, I, I like that player, Raven Riley, number yeah. two for Clayton State. She's she is 16 now. Six of 11 shooting, three of six. At one point, they were 11 of 17. What are they from three? They are nine of 26 from three. They were six of 11 at one point. Wow. So they're three for 15 since then. But that was a big one with 32 seconds to go. Clayton State coming out in their bright orange uniforms. They're from Morrow, Georgia. The town has 6,400 people. The school has 7,000 students. So wow. more students than residents of Morrow, Georgia. <laughs> About, thir I think they said 15 miles just south of downtown Atlanta. So Coach Coleman took a timeout. Coach Jesse takes one as well. Ramsey has played every minute of this game. Gusto has played 38 of the minutes, missing only two to this point, or one, one I should say. She's going to end up with 39. Tampa to inbound. They get it to Ramsey. They're probably going to foul, and they do. She's an 83% free throw shooter. That only took two seconds to get the foul. Haven't missed her last two free throws. I guess that's why they're sending her back to the line. Well, also she caught the pass, and I guess right. they didn't want too much time <laughs> to run off. But you're right, she did miss her last two. Okay. It's that one, though. A little more in line with her game. Knocks okay. down them both. Ramsey now with 14, lead seven. A little more comfortable with 25 seconds to go. Let them run all the clock they want. There's a long two, or a long three. Gallagher rebounds. Ramsey fouled. She'll go back to the line. So Ramsey has now equaled Sarah Jones for second on the team at 14 points. With a chance to, two chances to pass her right here. So this may not go down in the books as an artistic success, but you know if you can handle a team that gives you a totally different look from what you've seen over the year, I think that says a lot about your team. Right. They had some ups and downs. But they didn't crack. They bent. And it's the last four. 16 seconds to go. Lead is nine. No fouls, folks. Rebound to Kin. They call off the dogs here with six seconds to go. <laughs> there it is. Tampa holds on for a 78-69 win over Clayton State. 
Tampa, 9-0 and on the year now. Welcome back, Tom Jesse. Clayton State, 4-5. and Quick recap of the scoring. Swift with five points. McElhaney, their leading scorer with four. Leading scorer on the season, I should say. Waite with four. Patrick with two. Davis with 15. Swift had five. Riley, leading scorer with 16. Slaughter had three. Burtz, two. May, five. Wright, six. Moss, two. And Johnson with two. <laughs> Clayton State for the day. Ended up at 34.3. Tampa, nine and zero, oh, folks. They were nine of 27 from deep. They were six of 11 at one point. Over 50%, they end up at 33%. And they were 14 of 19 from the free throw line for their points. For Tampa, Gusto with eight. Kin, leading scorer, 20 points, six of eight from the field, eight of nine from the free throw line, 14 rebounds. Audrey Ramsey, 16 points, eight of 10 from the free throw line. She also pulled down a fair amount of rebounds. She had seven. Sarah Jones, 14, six of seven from the floor, two of two from deep. Malia Sullivan, eight points, fouled out late in the game, had three of four from the floor, two of two from the line. Alani Gallagher picking up a lot of minutes, 26 minutes tonight. Eight points, three of four from the floor, two of four from the line, six points, and three assists. Marcheski, four points. And Aaron Antosh did not score. Spartans ended up 25 out of 39 from the floor. So they took 28 less shots than Clayton State, but made more baskets. Tampa, 64%. 25 of 39, 5 of 11 from the three, that's 45%, and 23 of 32 from the free throw line, 71.9%. So the Spartans run to 9-0. and They will play again Sunday for the first game of their holiday tournament right here on this court at 3 o'clock. There is a 1 o'clock game between Flagler and a uh, SSC opponent. Spartans will then play Flagler the next day on Monday. Our next broadcast is tomorrow at 7 o'clock when the men's team starts their holiday tournament on this floor. The men will play North Georgia. Spartans coming in with a 2-7 and seven mark. North Georgia is 7-1. and one. Andre doing a great job running the board. This is Jack Ike saying thank you, along with DeCarlo DeVoe. We'll see you tomorrow at 7, men's basketball, right here on TampaSpartans.tv. Happy holidays.